All right, let's look at another, another problem here. We've got to want to determine the mass of each of the two cylinders if they cause a sag of S is uh, 0.5 when suspended from the rings at A and B. Note that S is zero when the cylinders are removed. So uh, we've got this right here. We want to um, determine the mass of each of the two cylinders. So this looks symmetric, right? These are the same mass. So we want the mass of each of these. Now, I've got some options here. So when I look at um, a uh, problem, I kind of think of, okay, what should I draw the free body diagram for? Uh, some of them, I think it's pretty obvious. You know, if I've got a block, you know, if I've got some object, what should I draw the free body diagram of? Sometimes it's not as obvious, and sometimes you have some options. All right, sometimes you have some options. I could draw the free body diagram of this mass one. Uh, that would just tell me that the tension in the rope right here is um, equal to the weight. Um, I could draw the free body diagram of this two. It would just tell me that the tension right here is equal to the weight. Um, so maybe I could draw the free body diagram for just ring A or just ring B. But sometimes you can group things together and draw the free body diagram as if they were together. So that's what I'm gonna <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here. And I think it kind of makes sense that we could just group all this together and say it's just one object right here. One object right here that has some weight. Uh, I don't know the weight, and I'll call it A B or something object a b uh, and I don't know the weight of object a b um, it's asking for the mass of each of the two cylinders I'm, I'm gonna draw a weight remember free body diagrams need weight on them not mass so let me just look at the weight right here um, and anything inside of here like ropes I wouldn't have to draw those on my free body diagram why well because the tension is pulling up on that but it's pulling down on that ring you know the tension is pulling up on mass 2 but down on B there's some tension in between them but they're pulling to the left and to the right they're internal all right they're equal and opposite so if you have ropes and you're drawing the free body diagram and the rope is kind of inside of your object that you're drawing that you're grouping together then you wouldn't that wouldn't show up on your free body diagram. What would show up on our free body diagram would be the force in spring BD and the force spring um, CA. We'll call it CA. So those forces would show up, right? The force in the spring is K delta X. Force in the spring is K delta X. Uh, what angle is it at? Uh, well, if this is, let's see, what angle is it? It's a 2 by, if this is 0.5, 2 by 2. Uh, so, so we'll say 45 degrees. And this one also at 45 degrees. That one is also at 45 degrees. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. The force in spring AC is K delta X is 100 newtons per meter. And what is the stretch of the spring? Well, let me start by finding the length of the spring. That's not what I'm, what I'm going to plug in for delta X, but that is a first step, a good first step, finding the length of that spring. Well, this is just a triangle, a 2 by 2. 2 squared plus 2 squared. Take the square root, 2.8. 2, 8 is the length of the spring, but that is not my delta x. My delta x is the amount of stretch. Did it tell me the unstretched length? Did it tell me the unstretched length? It, it, not exactly, but it did say if there are no cylinders, the length of the spring would be here. So that, that right there would be its unstretched length, which is a 2 by 1.5. 2 squared plus 1.5 squared, take the square root, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Find the hypotenuse, 2.5. So its unstretched length is 2.5. Its current length is 2.828. So its amount of stretch, the difference in the two, right? 
Uh, are those units meters? Yes. All right, so the um, force in the spring would be 32.8 newtons. So I could do the same thing for BD, K delta X, uh, but it is exactly the same. It is exactly the same, 32.8 newtons. 32.8 newtons because it has the same current length, it has the same unstretched length, it has the same K value. So it would also be 100 newtons per meter, 32.8 newtons. All right, so I like to do that when I have enough information. If I know the K and if I know the delta X, go ahead and do that before I get to my sum of the forces equation. All right, but I think now I'm ready. Let me define my axes. Now I'm ready to sum the forces in the X equals zero, sum the forces in the Y equals zero. Um, sum the forces in the X equals zero. So what is in the X? Go back up to our free body diagram. I've got a 32.8. Uh, cosine 45 and then 32.8 cosine 45 equals zero. You know what? That uh, was a little bit redundant, wasn't it? Uh, but that, you know, further hammers home the point that it had to be symmetric and it was symmetric. Uh, so yeah, good. That that does equal zero. So I didn't really have to do that. It really should could have started with some of the forces in the y direction. Some of the forces in the y direction. On the right, I've got 32 Point eight sine 45 going up and I also have another on the left 32.8 sine 45 going up down I have the weight of a B set those equal to zero and solve for the weight of a B 46.5 Newton so that's the weight of this together uh, these are two of the same right they um, would be half of this 46.5. So the weight of A and the weight of B would both be, let's say, 23.25, 23.25. Not going to box that in. That is not what it actually asked. It asked for the mass. That's the weight. It asked for the mass. We know that weight is mass times gravity. So 23.25 would be mass times 9.81. So I take that 23.25 divide by 9.81, the mass of each of those 2.37 kilograms. And that is what I box in. So answer what the question is asking for, okay? So this one, let's take a step back and look at what we did. It was in equilibrium. We want to draw a free body diagram. We had some options. We could have kind of gone the long way and only looked at one or only looked at the other or looked at the ropes, but we saw, I saw that I could kind of group those together and draw a pretty simple free body diagram. Weight acting down, tensions of the springs acting up. Spring is K delta X. Be careful with that delta X. Find the amount of stretch. Uh, and then the heart of our problem, the sum of the forces in X equals zero, the sum of the forces in Y equals zero solve for uh, what you can and really look at the question and answer what the question is asking which was the mass of um, those blocks all right